All right, what is up guys? It's Ivan from BrainBiz.com and we're gonna do a quick tutorial today and uh, what it's gonna be about, it's gonna be about the Node MCU boards, uh, which are basically um, ESP8266 uh, modules that are soldered onto a board like this one and this one uh, to make it easy to connect stuff to it and stuff like that. As you can see, the 8266 is right there on both. So it's the same module on each one of these boards. Uh, the difference between these boards, this is version 2, and this is called version 3. Um, I've seen a lot of people talking about these guys. They say they'd rather have this one uh, because it's a little bit uh, thinner like this, and it fits good on a breadboard, as you can see here. So you would have one row of pin on each side that you could connect jumpers. Uh, but the version 3, it is a little bit... Uh, uh, larger on that side but if you jump it between two breadboards as I did here then you have access to more pins to connect your jumpers on each pin as you can see here uh, basically they both share the same uh, capabilities except I think version 2 has an onboard LED as you can see here maybe and uh, they use different uh, serial to USB chips uh, this one is the CP2102 I believe and this one uses the um, uh, more popular, I guess, CH340G. Um, there have been pe people talking about the uh, CH340G. It sometimes gives problems uh, on a Mac, so uh, maybe the 2102 uh, could be better for uh, if you use a Mac. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do today, as you can see, I have my little uh, WS2812 uh, uh, stick here with eight LEDs on it. It's connected to uh, this uh, board right there. And what we're going to do, we're going to write some code and we're going to light up and change the values of these guys using a web page. Uh, so basically you could access that web page on your phone, um, on your computer, anywhere, and it will show up uh, two buttons. And when we click those buttons, it would actually light up these lights in a different way. Um, this is a very simple tutorial today. So I just want to give you an intro on these boards. Uh, the fact that they have Wi-Fi connected directly on them and easily programmable using the Arduino IDE uh, might be something you guys might want to take a look at in your next project if you want to experiment with Wi-Fi. Uh, so what we're going to do right now, I'm going to show you my screen and I'm going to show you how I installed these, uh, these guys in the Arduino IDE and then we're going to go check out the code that uh, we're going to use today and then we'll come back and test it all out. So let's go check that out. All right, so here we are in the Arduino IDE, and as you can see, this is the code we're gonna look at today. Uh, before we do that, though, you need to install the Node MCU boards inside the Arduino software so you can use it to program it. So what we're gonna do first, file preferences. At the bottom here, you'll find additional board manager URLs, and you're gonna enter this in the box, and I'll put a link in this, the, the YouTube description so you guys can copy and paste it. So once you have that done, Click down here on OK, go back up, go into Tools, Board, the first uh, option, Board Manager. And right here, you're going to drop down to Contributed. And you should see it right here, ESP8266. You click on that, choose the latest version, which is at this time 2.30. So Install. And it's going to go through installing everything you need. So we'll let it finish. And there you go. Now it says installed. So we're going to close out of here. And then we're going to choose the right board before programming. So right now we're not on the right one. So we're going to go on a drop down and we're going to go down the list here. And we're going to choose this one here, Node MCU 1.0. Uh, the older modules, uh, the Node MCU, use the ESP12 module. Uh, if you buy one today, it will probably use ESP-12E. So we're going to choose that. Go back up, go back into Tools. And, they'll, and there you'll see that we have the right module and the upload speed should be set to that and the COM port, make sure you select the right COM port. And that's it, that's all you need to do. So now we're gonna move on to looking at the code right here. Uh, we're including two libraries at the beginning, ESP8266 Wi-Fi should be installed when you, uh, with the, um, the step we just did before by installing the Node MCU board. This should be installed um, automatically so you, you won't have to download this. Uh, the other one here though, NeoPixel Bus, you'll need to download that and you can find a link 
uh, for that library in the description below or go to brainbuzz.com slash tutorials and find this tutorial and you'll find a link for not just the library but the code if you want to copy and paste it and more information so I invite you to check that out also. Uh, pixel count, uh, we set it to 8 because we have 8 LEDs on our pixel stick and the pixel pin, basically which um, pin it's connected to on the Node MCU, we say 2. Pin 2 corresponds to the RX pin on the uh, Node MCU. I'm putting up a diagram here where you can see uh, which pin corresponds to what on the Node MCU. Um, in next tutorials I'll go more in depth about this, uh, but for now pin 2 is the RX pin. And then we have uh, the SSID, uh, you replace these X's of course with the name of your Wi-Fi network and the password to uh, get into your Wi-Fi. So these two uh, are, uh, you change those to um, your values. Uh, then we have a couple of uh, variables that we use to check if the system was just powered on. We'll see that a little bit later. All the switch button was pressed uh, on the web page because we're creating a web page with this. So we want to know which button we press. So we put the, uh, the information in there. Then we initialize the NeoPixel bus library, like so here. And then we define arrays of color. The way it's going to work, I'm going to have two arrays. Uh, one's going to be red, green, red, green, red, green. So the LEDs are going to be um, uh, lit up that way. And the other one is going to be, I believe, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue. Uh, so these are arrays and these are the colors. Now I got these colors by going to this website here, HTML colors, where you can, uh, there's a color picker and then all you have to do is put at the beginning 0x and then the color that you just created on that web page. Uh, <coughs> so I believe this is red, this is green, and this is blue, this is yellow. And, but you could switch anything you want. Right now we have eight, but you could have multiple sticks. So the array would be, let's say you have two sticks, it would be 16. Uh, then we uh, define the web server port, so it's 80, the normal one. And in the setup, we begin, uh, serial begin, 115, 200. That's the speed that the node MCU communicates at, so you need to make sure that this is correct. And uh, then we uh, clear the, uh, the LEDs to make sure nothing is lit up at the beginning. And then we connect to a Wi-Fi network. So on the serial monitor window, we'll put connecting to, and then serial print LN the SSID that we uh, set up uh, there. And then we Wi-Fi begin, meaning the uh, module is going to try to connect with the SSID and the password. Now we wait until it's connected, we just put dots, you'll see that later. And when it's connected, we say we are connected and the web server is started and you can connect to the server here. This is all in the uh, serial monitor window, we'll see that when we do the testing. And we put the IP that the router gave us so we can connect uh, using a web browser. And then we have our main loop. So we're checking if someone is connected. Uh, that's the uh, command here. And then uh, we read which button was pressed on the web page. And that's uh, the client read string until a carriage return is detected. And depending on which button we're going to press, if it's red green, then we do a loop here to put each color of the array inside the library. And then we show the colors. And then we put the uh, button press and the first one, uh, first run to equal to one. Now, if it's blue or yellow, then we read from the, um, the second array, which has the blue and yellow color, and we do the same thing. Now here, that's where we create the web page. So basically the way you create a web page is that you need this information at the beginning, the client print LN. So this tells that the browser that this is an HTML document, so it'll, it'll format as such. And if you've done any HTML, basically all that code uh, is basically a snippet of HTML. So you start by saying HTML, that's the start. And then I do a style here to uh, do the background color, uh, kind of like a dark gray. Set the background color, close, open and close. And on the first run, I say, please click a button because it just started. And if it's not the first one, run, then I say the last button press was, and that's where I say the last button press was red or green or blue and yellow. And here I create the buttons. So basically, it's a standard HTML button uh, reference, and this is the text that's going to be inside each one of these buttons. And I close the HTML. Uh, so basically, you can experiment with that. You can create different buttons. You can create more buttons, smaller buttons. Uh, you can play around with the background color. Uh, so basically, this is all HTML uh, code. So the way you send it one line at a time, like you see here, by doing client.println. So that's it. That's the code we're going to use today. 
Uh, like I said, code is always hard to, um, to explain on a video, but I invite you to look at the testing and then look at the code and see what's happening at the same time that I do the testing to get a better understanding of the logic uh, behind it. Uh, this is by no means the only way to do it. This is just the way that I'm showing you guys and I try to make it as simple as possible. Uh, of course, every code can be uh, different and do the same thing and also be uh, optimized. Uh, okay, so now I'm gonna connect the Node MCU board. It is connected, so I'm gonna go at the bottom here so you can see the, pro the process of what happens when you click. Uh, so basically what it does, it does the same thing. It's compiling and then it's uploading. And the way it's doing it, it's doing it like this by putting dots, 34%, 69, 100, and then it's done. So the only thing you gotta make sure is that in tools, the board, the right board is, connect is uh, selected and these numbers are the same and com, the COM port is the right one. And that's it, you basically you just click upload here. Let me go down. And then you see it's compiling the sketch, which is the same thing it would do with an Uno or any other type of Arduino board. And then it's gonna start programming the board, like I said, by putting dots like this. And when it's finished, it's ready to go. So that's it, so the code is uploaded, so let's go check it out and test it out. All right, so we uploaded the code that we were looking at on the Node MCU already. It's connected, and in the windows right here, you're gonna see the web page and also the serial monitor information. So to start, I'm gonna reset the board to get the uh, serial monitor displaying uh, data. So let me press that, and there we go. And there we go, Wi-Fi connected, web server started, and you can connect to the server here. So it got the address from the router, 192.168.15.144. So I'm gonna enter that in the web page right here. So let me do that. 144, enter that. Um, so right now it says click, uh, please click a button, red and green or blue and yellow. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the first one. And there we go, as you can see the LED is lit up and the web page was updated. Last button press was red and green. So now I'm gonna press blue and yellow and there we go. Now if I press blue and yellow again, Nothing will happen, it still keeps the information, and back to red and green. So I know this is a very simple tutorial. Uh, I just wanted to show how easy it is to access the Wi-Fi uh, feature on the Node MCU boards, and also uh, how to install them in the Arduino IDE, so you can use the Arduino IDE to program them. So in future tutorials, I'll, uh, I'll try more stuff and also uh, maybe control the Node MCU using uh, an Android app uh, instead of a web page and uh, different ways that you can actually use these guys in uh, your projects. So hopefully this helps uh, anyone that was trying to get into the Node MCU and how they work. And also the Wi-Fi on these guys is pretty strong because I'm all the way upstairs and my router is all the way downstairs. So even though they only have a small antenna like this, uh, they actually have, have a pretty good range. So that's it, so hopefully this helps you guys, and uh, let's go back to the main camera and wrap things up. All right, so that'll do it for today, guys. Hopefully this helped uh, some of you that uh, weren't too um, uh, familiar with the Node MCU boards. Uh, uh, we showed today that we can use the Arduino IDE software to program these boards as you would a regular Uno or a Mega or stuff like that. Uh, you know, this was a quick introduction, didn't want to go too much in depth, uh, but I will be using these boards a little bit more often in uh, future tutorials, so keep a lookout for that. Um, like I always say, if you like these videos, please subscribe to our channel. Also, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, that way you'll get notified when we post new videos. So, once again, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.